The U.S. Army earlier this year published a request for information on something known as radio as a service, and feedback from defense industry was a whole lot of mixed signal. I recently attended an industry conference where Army officials talked about what they heard from potential partners in the effort and heard everything from enthusiasm to frustration, from wanting to manage the whole process to not wanting to be involved at all, according to officials with the Army Program Executive Office for Command, Control, and Communications Tactical, or PEO C3T. The as-a-service approach, if taken up, would be a radical departure from the Army's traditional means of buying and maintaining radios, equipment critical to connecting far-flung soldiers. Typically, the Army would shop around for radios and designs, pick what they like, and buy a ton of them. The new proposed model would be more akin to a subscription offered by some makers of consumer products. Think Netflix, or Adobe, or Microsoft Office. In other words, it could mirror other deals in which companies furnish goods and services on a rolling basis, keep them up to date, and handle glitches and quality control. Army Undersecretary Gabe Camarillo in December suggested the as-a-service method would drive down costs while also affording additional flexibility as world powers like China and Russia try to zero in on U.S. military chatter. But there are also questions about the ability to surge radios when and where they're needed most. And in terms of what's next, radio experts with PEO C3T expect to brief Army leadership in the coming weeks. And I'll keep track of the latest developments as they unfold. For C4ISRnet, I'm Colin Demarest.